Good morning, y'all. I am going to be frothing up some creamer this morning. I've been doing milk, but somebody gave me the idea of doing my creamer. So I've got just a little bit of creamer in here that I'm gonna froth up real quick with this and put it on top of my coffee. everybody and welcome back to today's vlog today is Wednesday and we are currently just hanging outside right now we're finished up with school for the day um, it's after two I think it's after two for sure we might be getting closer to three actually we just came outside for the day Kylie's out there checking on the chickens and the little kids are on the porch filling up their little Barbie pool and letting their Barbies swim in their pool so it's kind of breezy today it's not too hot it's actually perfect out here today but I've been trying to stay indoors because the pollen, like, it just gives me a terrible headache. Like, I get a terrible sinus headache. I actually woke up with one this morning because we rode our mule down to the pasture. And anytime we ride that thing in the spring and summer, I normally have a headache the next day because of, I guess, just the pollen blowing in my face. I said, the next time we get on that thing, I'm wearing a mask, y'all. I don't even care what I look like. I'm going to wear a mask so I don't have a headache the next day. But Everly is actually down for her nap. She's been sleeping for about about an hour and a half or so so she's getting herself a good nap which is good before she comes out to play so last night for dinner I cooked pioneer woman sloppy joes and we have lots of leftovers so we are gonna have that for dinner again tonight which is gonna be nice just a um, heat up dinner from last night and then I also cooked a blackberry cobbler last night after dinner and it was so good y'all I should have vlogged that but I didn't but it was so good and one more thing last night actually it wasn't last night it was yesterday afternoon our cow finally had her baby y'all we didn't think that little calf was ever going to come but she had it she had it about 4 p.m yesterday we were home kylie was actually sitting on the back porch and she ran inside and said the cow's having her baby and it happened like that i mean like as soon as she said that the cow just fell literally like just fell out on the ground and um when josh got home they rode down and checked on the baby calf and i mean doing great and it's a boy it's not a girl um, but he's doing great. The mama's doing great. They named the baby calf. What's the baby calf's name? Oscar. Oscar. They named him Oscar and he is so cute. He looks like a little deer to me. So in a little while we'll, I'll try to get down there and show y'all the little baby calf and how cute he is. We can't get too close because you know the mama after giving birth she's really protective of her baby which is a good thing. She's a good mama so we're not gonna get too close but we'll show you him here in a little while. <laughs> He's adorable, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Doesn't he look like a little deer? Mm -hmm. He looks like a little deer. When I first saw him, he looks like a deer. <laughs> I thought so too. I was like, oh, it looks like a little deer out there. <laughs> and Josh called me not too long ago and said he actually is not going to be home until late tonight, later this evening, probably like seven or later, because um, the job he's on, he had to leave, go to another job because one of the guy's tractors broke down or something. So he has to go and finish that job before he go back to the job he's currently on right now. And here's all the Barbie fun. They've got their Barbie pool out here, got their Barbies going for a swim. I got a ducky. What is this, like the little beach set up for them? Yep, I'm eating the ducky. And you've got the ducky. And we got this in a van. <laughs> Some of us have not even got out of our pajamas today. We're just staying comfy at home because yesterday was so busy. Hey, We're taking it easy like today. Okay, y'all, I am back inside and here lately. It's okay. so funny, but I have been craving Mama. tomato. Like nothing okay. with the tomato. Just cut up the tomato, put a little bit of salt on it, and eat it. Not not, not the Mama. whole thing. I only the whole Mama. tomato. And 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 coffee. <laughs> and goldfish, yeah. Okay. And but I've been craving a fresh tomato like crazy, y'all. Like and, crazy. And, so I'm gonna cut up a little and, tomato and have a little snack of tomato with salt on it. Just cut up a little bit of tomato. Oh, this one's good and fresh. 
our neighbor in the summer usually brings us lots of fresh tomatoes and I really enjoy when he does that. Do y'all want some tomato? Yeah. yeah. I like mine. What's mine? Here. Y'all like it? <laughs> you like the tomato? Taste it. I like it. <laughs> Just <yourself>. look at it. <clears throat> Somebody's got smoothie face. We had smoothies earlier. Okay, so it's 6 p.m., which means it's dinner time here. I am just going to heat up some of these fries for a side. And then we still have leftover cantaloupe here. And then, of course, our sloppy joe meat. I'm just going to heat this up on the stove top real quick. Pop these in the oven. And then we're just going to have a simple dinner. Super easy just to heat up leftover. All right, y'all. So while dinner is cooking, I am sitting down with my homeschool planner for a minute. I think I've already showed y'all this at the beginning of the year. But I have been using the Anna Vance planner this school year. It's our first year using this planner. And I have been very pleased with it. Um, and we are, let me show you. So I am in the very last week of my homeschool planner, y'all. This is so exciting. So exciting. Yes, we are on our very last homeschool week in the planner. Now that does not mean this is our last week for summer break. I'm actually going to go until May 14th. Um, we took a spring break this year and I just feel like we need to do a little bit more before I call it summer break. So May 14th is actually going to be the start of our summer break, which is perfect because that's right before we leave for vacation. Um, however, Kylie, my high schooler, will have to continue her algebra until it's completed her English. Those two things she has to continue through the summer until it's completed. She does not have a lot left on English, but she has a good bit left on algebra, so she does have to complete that before her summer break begins. Which, I mean, technically her summer break begins when ours does, but she's just continuing with her math lessons until they're completed. Are you hanging with Sissy? I should hopefully get my new homeschool planner in the mail within the next few weeks for the next homeschooling year. So y'all be watching out for that video. I'll show you what I'll be using for the next homeschooling year, which I think I've already told you before, but it's going to be another an advanced uh, planner, but it's just a different cover. I'm excited. I'm excited to have a fresh new planner. It's like a fresh new star. I always love new planners at the beginning of every year. And Allie is over here working on her bullet journal. When did I get this for you? Sunday. Oh, Sunday. And y'all, she has filled out so many pages. It is just a regular like bullet journal off of Amazon. I think it was like $8 or something. But this is like her thing. Like she loves to journal and draw and do art. So I picked her up one of these little journals and she is using it all for scripture and just pretty artwork. I just love it. The back ones are the best. Which one? The back ones. Because I've been using my watercolors. Mm -hmm. She's using a lot of her watercolors and it. it's just so, so pretty. She's good at this. I don't have like really good artistic skill so i can't do this in my bible or my journals but she does it's so cute i think one of them was my favorite but i don't remember which one it was this one i think i think this one was one of my favorites oh yeah this one's another favorite it says jesus my victory and that is just so pretty also we just got this in the mail the other day it's baby's car seat we're finally starting to make some purchases we only had like a couple of big purchases to make for baby this time um, and one of them is a car seat so we've got the car seat um, other two is a bassinet and a baby swing the bassinet is on its way and the baby swing can wait a little bit longer that's not like a need as soon as the baby comes home i just wanted to make sure that we have like the needs you know because you never know when baby's going to come so i just want to make sure we had this stuff on hand and ready to go Okay, so hair has officially went up in a bun. I am in the bathroom. Sorry if it's loud. I'm going to give Nat and Everly a bath now. It's after dinner, after clean up, all that stuff. But it's actually almost 8. Josh is on the way home. He should be here in a few minutes. I need to go to his food up and give them a bath. And I want to get them ready for bath. And hopefully they will fall asleep fast because I am tired today. <laughs> okay, so I got their baths done. Now I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to heat up Josh's food real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the bath, get their pajamas on. Um, while I was waiting, I also did go ahead and cut up some more strawberries for tomorrow because y'all saw me cutting those strawberries up this morning. I cut up like a whole container of them and stuck them in the fridge and thought, oh, this is going to last us a while. They were gone by this evening. The whole thing, not the basket, but like I put them in like a little, like one of the little leftover bowls. You know what I'm talking about? I'll put a lid on. I cut some up, put it in there to make it easy just to snack on. Well, they definitely snacked on them today. I have no more, so I cut up a bunch more 
stuck them back in there again got them in the fridge for tomorrow so that's out of the way i like to have fresh fruit and veggies already in the fridge so if they want a snack it's easy for them to get to it